Welcome back to Diablo Immortal Let's Play. Well, let's hop right into it here. Okay, looks like we've got some little alerts here. Oh, in quests. Okay, this is a new thing. I, I don't know if it's new because of where I went to just recently, or if it's new because of they added it to the game. Uh, daily rewards... Echo of Immortal, when I click on that, why did it just teleport me away? This brought me... Where did this bring me? This, like, instantly teleported me to this town. Navigating to Battleground Captain. Looking to show your mightiest sanctuary you're capable of? You can challenge other heroes every day from 8 to 10. Noon to, to 2, 6 to... Well, it's 10 right now. It's it's exactly 10 right now. Level too low. Well, why did it have me come over here if my level's too low? Okay. Rare chest available at Elder Rift. Okay, where is this taking me? This game is very disruptive when you first start playing. I, I wonder if they're not expecting people to do the story, or, or I don't know, I'm not sure. Because in Diablo 3, you know, people don't really do the story, they just run rifts. So in Diablo 3, people just pop in like when there's a seasonal mode, and they just run rifts until they hit high level and then do some bounties and whatnot. Okay, so this popped me back in here. I'm not really sure what it wanted me to do there. Okay, our daily bundle, we'll claim that now. We still haven't gotten one of these. Oh, look at that. Speak of the devil, I don't even know what that is. Glowing shard, upgrade material, used to upgrade equipment. Okay. Well, can we continue our, continue our story here? Kill the Lukuni. All right. Right, Zav, whatever. Oh. Come this way, stranger. Okay, do we have anything in our inventory right now? No. Oh. Hey, I gotta kill these dudes. Alright. Oh, I gotta kill all these guys over here, too. Swipe them, blow them up. Swipe them, blow them up. Okay. Fear not to the end. Looks like I just got to take a step forward. Is this going to be our daily? Yeah. Okay. So now we're getting gems. So then tomorrow we get something. So we'll get one more tomorrow. Am I supposed to kill these guys too? Go! No. Back to your dens. Nothing but death awaits your kind here. You have either excellent or terrible timing, stranger. While I appreciate your aid, I do not know who you are. What brings you to my camp? Your friend, Zolf, I believe his name was, said I should speak with you. I'm looking for something buried beneath these sands. Ah, uh, friend is a strong word. If Zov sent you, he must see good omens in your arrival. But there is no fortune to be found here. They're like attacking my skeletons in the background of this, like doing almost no damage at all. Look around you. The Amber Blades are barely holding on against this threat, much less Vateos and his thugs. The desert sands devour hope. You should leave before they claim you too. Luck is all I can offer you, outsider. Leave, and may Fahir's eye never fall upon you. Right, over here, this way. Okay, we gotta come back over here now. Let me guess. Tabri told you to leave, hmm? <laughs> that woman is surely the coldest person in a thousand miles. 
No wonder Vateos is frightened of her. Listen, your problem is an easy one. She believes you are going to be a burden. Yes? So instead, we lighten the weight upon her shoulders. Simple. And I know exactly how we do it. Several of our men were dragged away in the last attack. Save anyone still alive, and kill the Lakuni pack leader. <laughs> oh, and bring back proof of your kill. Tabri, for some inconceivable reason, favors action over words. I wonder if this guy is a voice actor for one of the Khajiq in Elder Scrolls. He sounds like just like one of the voice actors from the Elder Scrolls Online. Ooh, there's a purple guy. Is purple good or is yellow good? I'm not... I don't know. That didn't give me anything. Huh. Yeah, he definitely didn't drop anything there, that purple guy. Let's go over here. It's so weird that my, like... Let's see if I can get it to do it again. Sometimes my scythe will turn into, like, a tube. See how it's, like, super skinny there? Once in a while, like, if I'm running the wrong way, it'll, like, turn into a low-polygon version of itself. If I see it again, I'll point it out. He's not breathing. The Lacuni do not keep prisoners, it seems. Oh, I didn't know we were taking prisoners. I haven't been taking prisoners this whole time. Whoa, it's a big one. Jumps right into my exploding corpses. Perfect guy. He's the best guy. If Zob is right, Tabri won't believe me without proof the deed has been done. This is going to get messy. Just take some of his teeth. Why would you skin them? Jeez. We just gonna walk past all these guys. I haven't like I haven't once felt the need to like kill any of these guys in these camps or anything like that. I only do it accidentally because I keep right clicking. Instead of left clicking to walk, and then you automatically attack things you're clicked on. Because your right click is your attack. Hey, look who's back. Oh, and with a pelt. Ooh, that's uh, disturbing. <laughs> but clever. W you dirty little bugger. I hate that it does that. Okay, let's go over and like in the corner. And... Hey, look who's back. Oh, and with a pelt. Ooh, that's uh, disturbing. <laughs> but clever. Tabri won't be able to deny such uh, compelling evidence. <laughs> anyway, Tabri just returned to camp. Uh, follow me, and I'll take you to her. She's certainly going to be surprised to see this. Okay, I'm supposed to follow you? Okay, there we go. You had best have a good reason for disturbing me again, outsider. You had best have a good reason. Okay. Isn't it amazing, boss? We killed Alvas. <laughs> Those lousy Lacuni will know better than to mess with us. Yeah. Us? Hmm. Considering it's our new friend's hands that are bespattered with blood, it isn't difficult to tell where the credit is due. As for you, go and hang the beast's skin on my gate. Let those mongrels see its face every time they think about encroaching on my territory. When you're done, we'll talk. Okay. Where do you want me to hang it? Just right, right on the, right here, right on the open gate. How do I get it there? There we go. Yeah, but that's on the inside of the gate. Wouldn't you want it on the outside of the gate? Okay. So, you have proven yourself to be quite the fighter, haven't you? Zov says you're seeking the library of Zoltan Kul. I know of it, and I am willing to entertain helping you get there. 
For a price. For a price. Hmm. And what price is that? Well, let me move my microphone away from the desk a little bit. There we go. The scepter of Fahir. An artifact once held by the rightful ruler of Shassar, and split into three pieces after his death. With it, we can finally bring peace to this land. Obtain all three, and you will have what you seek. Zov, take our friend to Peth. His guidance will be invaluable to you, newcomer. Before you go, take this as proof of our pact. This gem, and others like it, will prove useful to you on your journey. I suggest you get acquainted with them as well. Oh, okay. of course, boss. <laughs> Look at that, my friend. Oh, a tourmalin. A rare gift in these parts indeed. You should meet Emine. She will show you what to do with it. Amin? Oh, she's over here. Ah, a customer. Upgrade socket and craft gems at the jeweler. Ah, Zov. Here to replay your debts, finally. Or to increase them further, I wonder. Haha, <laughs> good one. Let's skip past the trivialities, shall we? My friend here wishes to learn how to harness the potential of gems. And I could think of one... No one but you to help. Well, she, she's the only jeweler in this tiny town, so... A gem, you say? Let me see. Hmm, good color. A few inclusions, not exactly flawless, but still quite pretty. This jewel will enhance your abilities nicely. I can help you socket it if you'd like. Keep an eye out for sandstorms. Oh, look at you. You're so, uh, shiny. Uh, honestly, I can't even see it. Did you even get it socketed? It doesn't matter. Come, it is time to meet with Peth and carry on with this journey of yours. So did it put these... It did not put these gems in my inventory. It put them in a gem inventory. So I got a lot of these. What is this? Resurrection stone. Allows resurrection at corpse. I have three of those. Got a lot of these. We, Ord, Sul, Yurz, Si, Ru, Nu... Mysterious Essence. Bring 10 Mysterious Essence to the Herodic Altar to unlock an entry in the Beastry. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's close out of that. And what deal shall we make? Tap to craft a gem. Tap gem. Lightning Core. Tap to forge. Would you like to craft this? Okay. Two star lightning core. Increases resonance by 30. So we gotta look up what resonance is. I'm not really Your sure what resonance is. Has been most and what deal shall we? Um, let's see. We'll put that like we'll put that in this one. You cannot equip duplicate legendary gems. So I've got one of those. Why did it tell me to create that if I already got one? That's a waste. Oh well. Okay, select item, select gem, select gem, select gem. Okay, so the belt has different gems than these. These can only socket legendaries. Okay, well it looks like the boots can do a blue. Armor penetration, that's what we want. We don't need more armor. Let's look at... Um, what was the name of that attribute? Resonance. Compared against enemy, potential to modify the duration of all harmful effects on you. Your resonance is 15 lower than the potency of monster is your level. In your current activity and difficulty. Increasing durations by 3%. Durations? Is that like damage over time stuff, I guess? I don't know if I have any damage over time abilities. Okay. Well, let's like let's craft a gem we don't have. So we have this one which we just made, and we have a purple one that looks like a little iceberg. So we need a we need a craft. Oh, I can take this one, 
that I already made and upgrade the one I got. But I need 15. I need 15 of them, I guess. Or 15 potency. That's only four. Okay. Well, let's craft. So we have... We don't have any of these. I don't... I have this one. Okay. Respite stone. Your primary attack. Okay, these all have... Uh, let's look at this. Damage all increases... Increases all damage you take by 0.5 for every 10% below. Okay. I don't want to take more damage. Increase the speed of your primary attack. Increase the durate. Yeah, we want that. Increase the duration of our ultimate. That's super good. That's super duper good. One star Zod stone. Okay. Looks like we don't have any enough of these things for anything else. So let's put the Zod stone in here. If okay. you need more work, you know where to find me. Making us stronger than we already were. Oh, here's this guy. This relic actually appears to be genuine. Excuse me. Tombre sent me to speak with you about the Scepter of Fahir. What? The Scepter? <laughs> Can't you see I'm busy? What do you need to know about that cursed thing? Where to look for it? Supposedly, it's been broken into three pieces. Please, I know all about the Scepter's history. What I don't think you understand is how impossible the task you've been given is. The Scepter was separated and buried intentionally when Fahir's reign ended. Our forebears understood that deeds like King Fahir's must never be repeated. We know where the three pieces are. It is obtaining them that is the fool's errand. Still, I've seen that look in an adventurer's eye before. Very well. If you cannot be dissuaded, the first map piece lies on the desk behind me. It will point you to one of the Scepter's fragments. Take it if you wish. But, you do so at your own peril. Okay. The Chamber of Wisdom. <laughs> Very well. Well, I want some wisdom. Let's go over there. Take a look. Oops. Doing right to move. We gotta do left to move here. We'll just stay on the path and walk our way around here. You've entered a solo story dungeon. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa Not here. I caught. This is definitely the demon hunter from Diablo 2. I mean, Diablo 3. Your fate is sealed. As I was saying, enjoy your trip back to the burning hells, you... Wait. You're no demon. Yeah. No. This look like one. I'm not. I assume you're the one responsible for this. Proudly. There's a demon using illusion magic to sow chaos and feed upon the locals. I'm going to trap it and kill it. Now stop talking and I'll free you. Maybe you should stop talking. What are you talking about? Me stop talking. There. I suggest you leave this place as well. The only thing I found in there is death. Now get out of my way. I have a demon to hunt. <laughs> All right. Charming girl. If she's telling the truth, I'll need to be careful. But I cannot leave without the scepter piece. The door is sealed. There must be a way to open it somewhere. Yeah, let's see if we can find a big lever somewhere. It's 
Is that a way to leave it, I guess? Oh, what's this guy? Huh. I, I have a feeling we're going to fight that guy right there. Okay. Oh, here we go. i to shake these little corpses. To future generations. Well, you know what's nice about uh, text like that is bugs hit me while I'm trying to read it. And I also like that they had a computer to type this up in when they mummified this guy. To future generations, learn from our mistakes. Fear is no god. And today his reign is dark. Death... His reign of death is over. His ambitions would not die. So they have been bound to this accursed creator. May it be forgotten. May our souls seal this place forever. Let them be the last sacrifice in his name. You know, it's weird that Diablo is always like that. It's like you go to get something that someone sealed away from millenniums because they don't want anyone to access it because it's so dangerous. And you're like, let's go break the seal. Blessed be you, O thousand souls, the king's diverged sacrifice. Through your gift of spirit shall our God's wonder be made manifest. Rest eternally knowing the scepter shall guide our great kingdom forever. All right, let's wake this guy up, even though we were told not to. I was a punk. I didn't even have to move. Alright. Tor- Inward. I can't click on- it. There we go. So I- I now have a soul? Like, did I get an item from that? Like a- something? No? I guess I'm just holding it inside of me? Well, I only got one. I guess I'm using this soul that I captured to light these torches. And now it's lighting the candles. Without a corpse, I cannot. Oh, I was like going ham on her. Oh jeez. She like hit me really hard right there actually. Oh man, there's so much poison. Oh she's going down so fast. Look at her health. Holy cow. I don't know if she went down super fast because of my new legendary gems that I upgraded and made, but... That monstrosity was guarding a scepter piece. No wonder so many died trying to obtain them. Okay. Wants me to walk over here. You're alive! I, I mean, of course you are! Of course! Just look at you. Yeah. Uh, so did you find it? Oh, look how it shines. But perhaps this. Cal, dang it. What a stupid, dumb design. For crime any sake. Look how it shines. But perhaps this task is less impossible than we thought, huh? You are ready for the second piece, then? Y yes Here's the next map. Uh, but the headpiece was buried along with Fahir in the hopes no one would ever reach it. Tabri is waiting for you in Sereth Outpost. Uh, as for me, uh, I have some business to attend to first. Uh, you go on ahead. 
Okay. Don't worry. I'm just going to take a quick look in this chamber. Uh, make sure nothing uh, uh, dangerous was left behind. Just gonna go right over to it. I still have not seen a reason to fight regular monsters. The amount of experience you get is so little. And I've I never see regular monsters drop anything. Does that mean you have the scepter piece? Yeah, why would I give her the scepter? I need a scepter, right? Alluring, is it not? It's you aren't the first adventurer to come through here to speak with my people. Many have dared the chambers and tombs, and each of them wound up the same. But you're different, aren't you? Here, take this. A reward for your hard work. Just know that your task gets more difficult from here. The head of the scepter was buried with Fahir. You will need to brave his tomb to find it. Okay. Uh, oh, the tomb's over this way. Tomb of Fahir. What difficulty recommended level 28? What level am I? 31? We're just gonna do this solo. I don't see the point in finding a group for this. Like, finding groups for dungeons. Be awful. wary inside that tomb. The old kingdom hid many terrible secrets. Ones that prefer to remain. Hidden. Secrets buried in the sands, shrouded in darkness. Many an adventurer has attempted to retrieve the scepter. I don't need to explain what happened to them, do I? After all, the scepter is still buried in the sands. Oh, that's a cool cutscene. How come the last dungeon didn't have a cutscene like that? A foul magic lingers within these halls. If the scepter piece is still here, it lies in the deepest recesses of this tomb. Ooh, treasure chest. I don't know if I've done a dungeon like this before. Like, they're showing me the whole map. Oh, look at all that treasure. How do I get out of this? Oh, we are going for that treasure uh, for sure. Better. I do have to be a little careful because these guys are doing quite a bit of damage to me. They just have to be a little more cautious about how I walk around and do this stuff. Just make sure I keep my mage up. But we're going for this treasure for sure. There is always time for treasure. Open this treasure door. Give me this treasure. What, I can't open a treasure because I got to kill these guys? No problem. Kill a million of these guys for one little box of treasure. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Your grave beckons. It's like whites? Come on. What a chance. What a chance. Just give me a bunch of white gear. White gear is terrible, by the way. Okay. Is this just a statue? Are we fighting a statue right now? Okay. Oh, he's like birthing dudes. We're going to save our ultimate for the boss, by the way. It just came up. I'm definitely not using it on this little stanker. Cause like even the boss wasn't difficult. And like I, I wanna save it for the for the final guy here. Okay. Oh, there's a treasure chest there. This 
swipe them, blow them up. Blow them up. Swipe and blow them up. Breaches? Okay. I can't. There's like a symbol on the ground. I can't do anything with it. I think this thing on the ground is like my little dungeon helper, I guess. Some of these dungeons are really long, like, I would think this game would be really difficult to play as, like, a phone game, like, unless you were just running riffs or something, because, man, oh man, there's been times where I'm playing this, and I'm like, holy cow, this is taking a long time to do this stuff. Without a corpse, I cannot. Okay. Kill this legion of souls. Whoa, 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 whoa there, guy. Jeez Louise, whoa. Whoa, 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 don't, don't laser me. That laser does a lot of damage. Oh, oh. Closes upon me. Still recharging. Whoa. Revive a corpse. Do not shoot me with that laser, bud. Okay, seal the inner tomb is open. Let's go down here. That laser does so much damage. That is incredible. That's like the first time I think I've really dealt with something that does incredible amounts of damage. Is this the seal? Okay. And that is actually where we're going to end this episode. I will see you in the next episode where we will finish this part, the Tomb of Fahir. Thanks for watching.